to check out Spider-Man Far From Home. I used to say, man, I'm, I ain't all that excited about this one, I guess, because we know it takes place kind of after um, Endgame. And we're moving on to the next phase. So it's kind of like you're more excited to find out what the next phase is all about than you really are this movie. Um, I know Spider-Man is a great series. And a lot of people are excited and love the character. So do I. I. It's just, I don't know what there is to look forward to in this movie. It almost feels like you already know the story before it even happens if you've been watching the trailers. I've actually been staying off of online and looking at the YouTube videos for Easter eggs, um, after credit scenes. Anything that deals with the movie, I stayed away from it because I really don't want to know. I kind of got some subtle clues of what's supposed to happen, what's going to happen what the next phase is all about and all that but you know check it out anyway because you got to see it because it's another marvel film so we're arriving right now you guys if you haven't checked me out i'm starting to try to do the live thing on instagram once we get up to 1k view, uh subscribers on youtube my plan is to go ahead and start going live on there i actually want to start doing a podcast but i got to find some people to do it with and there ain't but a few people I really talk to even off Instagram and stuff like that. So uh, more to come with that. But we got to hit that 1K views, man. I mean, 1K subscribers. Till we do that, like a lot of stuff is just sitting in limbo. But nonetheless, man, let me get this car parked. I'm in the parking lot. Definitely don't want to be trying to talk to y'all riding around with people, kids running through the parking lot. I don't want to hit nobody. So let me get up off here. Hopefully everybody's enjoying that fourth. It's pretty hot out here, man. Um, Looks like it's gonna rain. Of course, it seems like every year during 4th of July, it actually ends up raining, man. I don't know what it is. I don't never really do nothing for the 4th. Nothing, nothing too special. We usually go see the fireworks, but right now everybody gone. It's just me for the week. Two hours later. So I'm out of Spider-Man and uh, try to be spoiler free with you guys, man. But pretty much it was kind of what I expected um, story-wise and how that whole story pans out with Mysterio and everything like that. So I'm sure if you're thinking like I'm thinking about with it, then you're pretty much correct with just about everything. There's a few things thrown in there to kind of throw you off and stuff like that. But one thing I can say, I wish I'd have seen it at IMAX, man. It is really good IMAX looking film. So those that saw it in IMAX, man, I'm sure you was in for a treat. But overall, I would say maybe 7.5 five or eight out of ten something like that i mean it was cool had a look a whole lot of uh it was real witty a lot of humor guys i'm sorry man I'm, I'm pretty much tired thinking about going to best buy i don't know it's right around the corner but i'm tired i'm hungry but eh, it, it was cool it was cool uh worth the eight bucks but you guys know it's the end of the phase so we're trying to get into the next phase so we'll see where they go from here post credit scenes if I don't want to give it away, but the first one was better than the second one. I tell you that the second one, I felt like, why did I sit here and even wait to watch this? It was kind of horrible. I mean, I know it's got a lot of meaning to it, but even a lot of people walking out of the theater was like, uh, what was that? Like, it was a bit too much, but I get it. Well, no, man, I feel pretty bad for anybody that's got those outdoor plans because this it's looking rough out here. Looks like a storm already went through. Looks like another one might roll through. I ain't got nothing to do. I don't know, man. About to see if we're going to hit up this Best Buy that's around the corner. Other than that, man, I got the taste for some Jamaican food. So that's probably where we're going to head. That's definitely where we're going to head to next. But I actually need to see if they open. Y'all know it's 4th of July, so stuff will close on you. But, of course, in the comment section, man, y'all let me know what y'all picked up this week. Whether that's 4K, Blu-ray, collectibles, anything. Let me know. I don't know, man. I, it's like I want to go in Best Buy, but I don't like i don't know why i'm so tired really like i got some sleep but i just really want to go get something to eat and head home and lay down and maybe watch another movie or something yeah man we're gonna roll up in here real quick but i don't even expect to really buy anything i don't know we'll see what i what i can find i think they actually close in like an hour or something like that so i got a little bit of time I don't know. Ain't nothing I've really been wanting, man. Like, y'all let me know what y'all picked up the past two weeks. Yeah, hopefully. I don't know, man. Yeah, y'all let me know what y'all picked up recently because it's been nothing for me. Like, nothing sticks out. Of course, I still want those Batman flicks. 
but I just don't even know, man. All right, so here's the choices of what I might pick up. Atomic Blonde, I've been wanting this. My wife said it's actually pretty good. She liked it. No slip cover, so I hate that. Um, next choice was Point Break. I thought this was pretty cool. It's not like the first one, but I would love for the first one to come on 4K. That'd be a day one pickup for me. So that's choice number two. Oh, $14.99. Um, let's see. I think there was another choice. Oh, okay, yeah. Days of Future Past. I only have the Steelbook Blu-ray of this and been wanting the 4K, but I don't know if it's worth the upgrade. And once again, no slip cover. So I hate when movies get this low because that's when you don't get those slip covers. Yes, those are the choices. I'm still walking around just a little bit to figure out what it is exactly that I want to pick up. If I do want to pick up anything, because like I said, Waterworld comes out on Tuesday. So I'm really kind of thinking about picking that up. So I don't know if I really want to buy anything today, but yeah, I don't know. I probably will. See, the thing about me being selective with what I want, it really limits me. Once I bought a whole bunch of stuff, I don't really see anything else I want until a new release comes out because most of the stuff I already got that I really want that's worth it to me. So I get caught up with buying just something that is just kind of mediocre pickup to me. Like, OK, I'll get it, but it's not something I really want. So that's where I'm kind of stuck at right now. So I'm not sure what I want to pick up. It's pretty tough. All right, so we do got some pickups. Um, it actually was not even any of the ones that I said uh, I was gonna pick up anyway, but we got two pickups in the bag and we'll take a look at that when we get back to the house. Cause as you can see, I got caught in the rain. So it's time to grab something to eat and lay it down. It's almost seven o'clock already. I'm like, man, my little day off is over with quick. All right, you guys, let's finish this thing out. We got a Best Buy pickup. Here it is. These are actually not for me. These are more for my wife. These are two movies that I know she liked. One of them actually is kind of for me because I only want to kind of see the picture quality. This is why I never picked these up before. But you guys, it was two for 20. I know I had some choices that I said, okay, I might pick those up, but those were more for me. But then when I walked around the corner, I seen that Best Buy still had these two two for 20 and I actually had them in my cart before online, but I decided not to get them. I picked them up these this time. So we picked up Life of Pi. Like I said, you guys already know, once something starts to go on sale, real, real low price or has been out for a long time, that slip cover seems to disappear. So no slip cover on this one. I don't need to show it to you guys. It's been out for a very long time. It's a little Fox deal that Best Buy's had going on for about three weeks. Um, the second pickup is three billboards outside of Ebbings, Missouri. I don't know much about the movie other than that it's critically acclaimed and was up for a lot of awards last year. And I believe it was something that she would like and really want to see. Um, so I picked that up two for 20, you guys. Um, if you don't have some of the other movies that's available there, The Revenant, Martian, um, Prometheus, Alien, Alien Covenant, and I think Independence Day Resurgence, and maybe one or two more titles, definitely go pick those up. Still two for 20. Look for them on a special little uh, end cap or some type of um, sale uh, box or something like that in your store. Those are available for you. But nonetheless, man, it's your boy 4K D Ray with another video, you guys. Thanks for watching. We are getting close to that 1K subscribers. Once we do, your boy's going live, man. So start looking out for those live videos. If you ain't following me on Instagram already, follow me at 4K D Ray, where I'm already trying to do some live stuff with you guys. Hopefully, a podcast will come up next. Trying to get you guys something that the other Bluetubers ain't giving you. So thanks for hanging out with your boy. Till next time, we gone.